What is up, y'all? Well, I thought time for me to go ahead and show y'all how I work my UB2442 FX Pro by Behringer. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all some of the features of that what it's got and what I'm using. All right. Now, it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's got 10 um, inputs that you can run in. Then it has 11 and 12 that you can run mono and 13 and 14 that you can run mono. Now I'm going to show you all how I wind up mixing this up. Now, one of the good things that I do like about it is that I can always mute it out, mute out the track and bring it back in when I feel like it. So, a lot of times when I'm putting together my music, I'll have it in MIDI so the other instruments is hooked up to another channel like this. All right. Now y'all see how that works. And um, let me show y'all something right quick. Now, the deal about this is that on each one of these little, um, each one of these tracks here, it has a, uh, what's it called? High, mid, and low. That's each one, high, mid, low, then it's got like one, two, three, four auxiliaries that you can use, plus the pan and pot. It has a um, what's called a um, CD tape in, where you can actually run another input into it. Let me mix this up right quick. All right, so y'all see how it goes. So basically, that's what it is all the way around, all the way down. You know what I mean? And over here, it's got something called mode, where you can actually, hold on a second. Where you can actually go in, and before you even start recording your music, these little lights here will let you know whether or not it's peaking or not. And if it's peaking, that means you might need to turn down your master volume. Okay? So, that's how it is. So, right now, if y'all can see with this Behringer, it'll, it'll show it on one line, not two. Because it's monitoring the sound that's coming in. And so, take that mode off. Bring the track back in. Hit the bass and hit the other drum track and there you go. Now, there's some things that I do like about it. Now check this out. Alright. It does have an effects unit that is actually built into the machine. Maybe y'all can use this. Maybe y'all can't. But that's some of the good things about it. Let me t turn that down a little bit. Oh yeah, and by the way, it's always good to kind of <laughs> write down which, which instrument that you got on what because sometimes it's easy to get kind of confused, you know what I mean? But anyway, y'all, I'm not going to take up too much of y'all time. Maybe on another video I can come back and show you exactly how the inputs are in the back but you know what while I'm at it the good thing about this also that it has four bus it's a 16 track four bus mixer I don't really feel like going too deep off into that right now but just wanted to show y'all some of the stuff what this mixture does and how I use it until the next time y'all peace